Hello everybody, welcome back to the Forever Bedrock Realm. So guys, as you can tell from down in my inventory, we have two very dead picks. And I also have, you know, an axe that could use repairing and of course my shovel has seen better days. Now, if we come over to my XP machine, it is actually all out. And that is because we worked on a massive community project the night before I filmed this. Uh, Joe Nathan was streaming on YouTube. He was streaming for nine hours. We worked on this and it was actually the nether hyperloop tunnel. So let's go over and let's actually check out and see what we did there. Now, after we check this out, I'm going to go AFK at my old farms to get myself some pumpkin and melons to trade for emeralds because right now that's the best way to get XP. But if we come in here into the nether, and of course we go towards Deesky's portal. The nether hyperloop tunnel is almost done. Now me, Joe, and Deesky worked on this. I basically placed the walls and, well you can't see the ceiling here, but Deesky made the concrete and Joe was placing the stairs. So this is how much we have left to do of the ceiling. And this might seem like a lot of blocks. I believe it's like 500 and it's five wide. So it's about 2,500 blocks left to place in the ceiling. And then we kind of got some like sporadic areas where we just didn't finish. But as you can see, we have all the stairs in for this area. And here's where the ceiling lets off. And we are going to have rails down each side. So you can, if you don't want to fly, you can just ride a minecart and save your rockets. Uh, over here, we did actually end up messing up a bit, and this is supposed to be glass, and that was actually my fault. I didn't know we were making that glass, but if we come over here, this is how far we are fully complete. So, like I said, it's probably, I think it's like 700 blocks we have left in total for the stairs, and 500 we have left for the ceiling. So it's not that much more left, and with, you know, three of us, maybe we can even get Fred involved. We'll definitely finish this project in no time at all. But this tunnel looks amazing. And you guys can tell the completed section looks really cool, really nice and clean. And just, you know, awesome to fly through. And it's the fastest way we currently have back to our old chunks, which is where our trading hall is, our old shopping district. And of course, my farming district where I need to go right now to go get some pumpkins and melons. So I'm going to go do a quick AFK session to start this episode and then we'll hit up the villager trading hall fix our gear get some xp bottles to fix our xp machine and we'll be rolling well guys i went and put in an hour afk session and we got ourselves a few pumpkins and melons not as many as i thought we would uh server tick speed must still be bugged like it has been for quite a while so not a big deal because we have uh plenty of sticks to trade also i just actually have to find the farmer villagers because i don't know where they are i always get so confused down here okay these are the guys with the lecterns oh there's the farmers so what i'm going to do is i already took off all my gear and i'm just going to hold my pickaxes and we're just going to go to town with trading with these guys and see just how many emeralds we can get but i'm not super concerned about that because i'm just going to turn around and buy xp bottles so basically we're just double trading and we'll get xp twice as fast in theory well guys, after a very quick mending session, we managed to fix all of our picks. I did grab some new books so we can make an additional two more picks. And I did manage to heal my secondary elytra plus all the armor. So we're down here in the nether for the like explosions. And of course we got five likes on the last video. We double that up. We get 10 TNT. We're setting off looking for ancient debris. All right, we already got a bunch here. Do I have my bow on me? Yes, I actually have my bow on me. Look at that, I came prepared. All right, we're going to go ahead. That one's going to fall down. Then we're going to go ahead and hit this one here. So it looks like we are going to end with quite a few ancient debris, which is not bad because you remember last run, guys, it was kind of tough. We didn't really get a lot, but it looks like we have at least four pieces here. And I am not going to complain about that. So if we just go ahead and mine this away, this is a nice little two vein right here. Okay, and then if we come over here, we got another two more, and that will make us another netherite ingot. Now, of course, since we are making backup picks, we are going to need two netherite ingots, so this will be one, and we have, of course, a couple in stock. 
back at our base. Was that another one there? No, that's bedrock. I'm just going to go ahead and plug up this lava because for some reason flowing lava in the nether tends to make things a tad, touch laggy. And I don't know why. So in order to keep my frame rate nice and good, we'll go ahead and patch that up. And I, of course, will grab this quartz for Joe because he has been trading like a madman to get the quartz for, you know, the tunnel stairs on the side and make his life a little bit easier. I'll just snag this little bit here and I'll give it to him and we'll keep rolling on the tunnel eventually. And like I said, guys, he streams every weekend. It's either Friday or Saturday and he has a bunch of big projects planned. We got to finish the tunnel and then, of course... I'm going to go back and show you the progress we made on the Minecraft Mining Podcast. And he's actually going to build a wall because my farming district actually kind of goes through a portion of the shopping district. And we were aware of that when we were planning our bases. So, I mean, it's not a giant deal, but, you know, it gives him a giant project to do. And I already told him I'd hook him up with all the stone and, of course, like dripstone and all that that he would need. So... We're going to have plenty of it for this hole. So let's get back to our base and let's see how much progress we made on the big hole. So now that we've gone ahead and made it back to the base, guys, I have two diamond picks I had sitting in my orange toolbox here. So as you can see, these are my two backup picks. So I have a backup silk touch and I have a backup fortune. And then I have a silk touch that I always carry on me. Now, what I want to do is I want to make these actually mending picks and mending with fortune. So... They're basically just going to be regular picks. Uh, they're not going to be like anything special, but we are going to turn them into netherite. So I believe it goes mending, unbreaking, I believe fortune, which comes next. Is it fortune or efficiency? Efficiency and then fortune. So we'll go ahead and bam. So there's one pick completed. And then we just go ahead and lather, rinse, and repeat for this. Hopefully this anvil does not break. Uh, efficiency 5. And fortune. Alright, so we have two fully maxed out picks. And now I just got to come over here and toss the... Why does it do that? Toss these in here. And we have two more netherite picks, which is wonderful. And of course, this did cost us another netherite. But it's not the end of the world because I do have all season. Yes, I am sweating it a bit, but <laughs> we have plenty of time. So we have our four backup picks now. And the only reason I'm so worried about making a backup pick is simply because, you know, we did that big dig and I actually had to borrow picks from people because I had no way of repairing them. Um, before the episode started, I smelted all my copper and I actually managed to get one pick back to, like, full strength. So... You know, with the whole mending thing being slightly off right now, it takes time. And it's not that big of a deal, but it does take away from, of course, doing stuff in the game. So you guys can see that I'm out here still oxidizing copper because why wouldn't I be? And we actually are going, by the end of the episode, have enough that we should be able to actually finish the spaceship, the outside. And that's actually a good thing because then that means that we can go ahead and actually go put the detail in and actually make it look like a spaceship rather than a tube of oxidized copper which is all that it is right now but let's go ahead and take a look down here so if you come down here guys you of course remember that we started with just this and this was one hour of mining we did in the last actual episode on forever bedrock and then in the minecraft mining podcast we went ahead and we did this now i kind of got lucky and this is basically a cave and it was like halfway up all around. So I didn't have too much actual mining to do. It was only like half the work. So that's why it was able to go faster. Plus the podcast ran for 75 minutes instead of an hour. So we did manage to get down there pretty far. And I think that's actually like level 35 or 38 down there. And of course, when we stand all the way up here, we're on 89. So it's about 50 blocks all the way around. So what I plan to do is actually kind of like cut this in and then cut this back a little bit more to make this meet up. That way we just have a section taken out. And then of course this will be my farming district and we are going to have farms everywhere. But before we do that guys, what I actually want to do is clean up the base a bit. So, I mean, my base was never intended to have shulkers everywhere. I have this cobblestone monstrosity sitting here 
you know, it has my skeleton horse, and we are kind of wondering what to put in these areas. So what I was thinking is behind this wall here is we could actually put like a little pen for the skeleton horse. So then that way, like, you know, if we land on an alien planet, we have a way to like, you know, get around and he's right here. So he can just, you know, boom bop right outside or he can, you know, travel through the nether and, you know, get there quicker. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is put him here. And then I think what I might simply do here is just start putting little farms that we necessarily don't get a lot of items from. And then what I'm going to do is kind of tighten this floor up because when I think of a spaceship, you know, especially one that's going to be traveling very long distances, I kind of think that like, you know, it would be cramped quarters and it wouldn't be like these giant tall rooms. So what I'm going to do is bring an arch in over these and then start the second floor. And then what we can do is go ahead and start our farms up here too. And then we'll actually start the second floor and kind of get an idea where that's going to go too. Well guys, our ship is slightly cleaner now. <laughs> it's not a lot cleaner, but it is slightly cleaner. These two shulker boxes are going to go away here in the next couple of seconds because they are red sand and that is actually what we are going to do next. But we did manage to take out the horse cage and you know all that stuff. I kind of just moved these over here till I get a super smelter going because I mean I still need to smelt copper because we need a lot of it. But we have all this open space in here now. And, you know, it definitely opened up the place a lot, just taking that out. Now, the horse I did have in here did die, and that's because I hit him in the face with my pickaxe accidentally. <laughs> but you walk through the portal, of course, and you come here, and this is like the start of the subfloor for the second floor. And it kind of makes this feel a little bit more cramped, and that's kind of what I'm going for here. Now, I do have to continue that across over here. But right here we have an egg farm, which I mean, realistically, there's just one chicken in there. We don't need that many eggs. Right here is a cow farm for milk, because of course, when you're in space, you probably need milk. You'll probably need eggs. So we have those going. And then over here, we have our horses, Jake and Jack. And Jake is wearing gold horse armor and Jack is wearing dyed red leather horse armor. So I have these two horses here the way I have them because of chunk alignment and I didn't want them despawning. So right here is a chunk line. So none of these animals can cross the chunk line or chunk borders and despawn. So I'm pretty safe, I think, with that. So that'll help us out. Back here, I made a little sleeping area just for ease of access because you figure most of the time I'm gonna be on the bottom floor and I don't wanna to have to take my water elevator all the way up here and then like go find my actual cabin's quarters. So I just have this as like our little sleeping area course i have like this you know martian looking creature here a little bit of storage and here is our current map which we took off of the floor in there now we do need to add five more maps around here and of course i chose these maps in this like order because this will put the volcano on our map which is pretty cool and of course we'll be able to see sedonia which i believe we said we we're going to put like right there and then this is behind the ship which we uh, of course you know we haven't started covering in red sand and then if you come over here, we have our little potion room. I don't make potions that often. That's why it's just a tiny little room. We have our brewing stand in the corners. We have our ingredients here and I'm smelting glass to make more bottles. We got our water suspended in the corner because I figure we're going to be in outer space. There's no gravity. So, you know, why not? And then if you walk over here, it's just a simple lava farm. Of course, I got to make a bunch more buckets, but we keep the lava over here and then we can just take that up to our super smelter and it won't be any big deal. But guys, like I said, now I want to move on to doing the red sand. So I told you in between episodes that we should try and place X amount of red sand. And while I did do that in between episodes, I think we should go ahead and buckle down and put down two shulker boxes worth. So my goal is to finish this red line over to here and then dump the rest over on this side. So maybe we'll finish this complete map and a little bit of this one. That's my goal. So let's go ahead and let's start, of course, placing some red sand. So if you guys happen to be betting people, how much do you think we got done? So I'm kind of standing here so you guys can't see anything, but we're going to go back here and we're going to update the maps together. So down below, before I update these maps, I want you to comment if you think I just covered this section or if I covered that section and all of this section. I'll give you guys a second to go ahead and enter your comments here because I love you guys commenting on the videos and it helps them out too. So 
always make sure you leave those comments. But let's go ahead and let's update this because this was the first area we were supposed to do. So I'm actually going to have to fly because we are not in range of this. But as you can see, we went ahead and we got all of this in. So this whole section is done. And we are actually a couple pixels short. And I never realized that actually looking at the map until now. But that's fine. So we got that whole section done. So we can go like that. Now, if you commented that section, let's see if you're right. I'm going to go ahead and take this map down. Oh. So guys, that actually wasn't that bad. It was only like two shulker boxes, which is like 54 stacks. So we'll go ahead. We'll fly out here. So of course we have like this like entrance to the shopping district. <laughs> to Ow. Stop falling. So we have this entrance to the shopping district here. And we're kind of going to have to Mars this up a bit. So anyone who comes over here might happen to have to go through Mars to get to the shopping district. But I'm actually pretty pleased with how far we got. And like I said, that was only two shulker boxes. And then we had like a couple of spare stacks laying around. So that took care of those two sitting there. So we got, you know, another owlway to walk through here on the ship. And we're not as cramped as we were. We're definitely opening up the space here. So we'll go ahead and toss that in. So here's our current Mars situation. So, I mean, definite expansion and definite progress. So, this side is going to be the rough side because this line right here, I think, is like a stack of blocks. So, I mean, you consider that and all of that. That's going to be, you know, that's going to be pretty challenging. But we'll get through it. And then, of course, we got to make the maps for the mountain. And that's going to be another giant project. But maybe we can all team up together to terraform that, you know, if Joe needs to do another stream. But, well, guys, right now... What I want to go do is I want to actually do a bit of mining, but I want to do mining the American way. <laughs> and I mean, we can sit here and we can mine all of these blocks slowly, painfully. I'll burn through pickaxes and then we'll have to trade and, you know, with all the experience, it's just, do I really want to keep doing that? I, I, don't, I don't think I do. So what we're going to do is actually I'm going to tunnel straight down the center of this thing. And then I am going to light it and we're just going to blow it all up. I mean, we're at the point now where what's the worst that can happen. I'll probably stop about like five or 10 blocks short of the surface. Just so, you know, we don't like hit our ship or blow up any of the, this stuff up here. But we're just going to go like right here and we're on 89. So if you subtract 56 from 89... That comes out to what 33 so we'll go down to 23 and hopefully I don't tunnel into lava and 23 all right now we just got a pillar back up and then light this bad boy off and this is either gonna be a really good idea or this is gonna be a really bad idea there's kind of no in between here so <laughs> Here's hoping it's a good idea. I just realized I don't think I can get out of this hole. All right, guys. So here is the end of our TNT stack, and we are actually up in the lighter area. I realize you guys kind of couldn't see that as we, like, went through. But, I mean, there's nothing really I can do. It's a one wide hole. So let's just go ahead and light this, and uh, we'll fly on up here. And we'll watch the lag ensue. So this is 56 TNT. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to put down some light for you guys. So, remember we stopped at 23, and that's actually where the last TNT landed. But we have this giant gaping hole now in the center of this thing. And that is exactly what we wanted. Yes. That is, this is the future of mining right here. Because now, this whole chunk is basically done... If I could fly, oh gosh, probably a little bit of lag from all the blocks on the ground, but not that big of a deal. If I can fly around here, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So, I mean, for this chunk here, all I got to do is basically just take out some of these blocks, and then this here is almost all connected, which I said is our goal. Now, what I think we could do, and what might actually be a good idea, is to go maybe, say, like five or seven blocks over here, and use our last stack of TNT, and then just light up another hole. And then, I mean, we're just making progress left and right with these holes. So let me go do that, and then uh, 
I'll show you guys the, the explosion. All right, guys, so we moved about 10 blocks down from our last set of TNT. And of course, we're kind of like bumping into this hole here. So this here will be the last set of explosions that we're going to do this episode. So hopefully this nets us a out, 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 pretty big air area. All right, I hope you guys can see this. I know it's kind of dark and it's going to be a bit darker with YouTube, but... Oh, wow. This one just kept going. All right. So we're down here on level 30 on this one. So this one just kept on going and going. So I believe actually if we like mine straight through here, we should actually run into our other hole, which is perfect. So we only have like five blocks in between that we have to mine down, which that won't take any time at all compared to like mining this whole section. I will definitely take this any day, but... That gives us some massive progress on our giant hole here. So of course we blew up one here and we blew up one over here. So basically I can just mine this whole section out real quick. And then that'll basically almost finish more than half of this. Now the goal is to get down to bedrock. Now that's gonna be kind of challenging and I'm kind of reassessing that as I go because this is going to be our farming district and I've probably told you guys that before, but I don't know if we're gonna go that deep because that's almost a bit excessive. I do know I would like to put a trading hall of my own down here along with, um, of course, an iron farm of my own. I'd like a mob farm down here. I want sugarcane farms. I want kelp farms. I want bamboo farms. I basically want a massive version of every farm you can make in the game. <laughs> so this is going to be an ambitious project but then again our planet express ship is an ambitious project so we're going to keep it up and we're going to keep our nose to the grindstone and of course keep it up with these big projects because i know that's what you guys like so with that being said guys what i'm actually going to do now is i am actually going to hit up an afk session and i'm going to try and afk as much copper as i can because we're at like a stack and a half and my goal is to finish the rest of the ship because once we get this in, then we can start the detail work and we'll start to actually make this look like a ship rather than just a tube of, you know, oxidized copper. And, you know, we're not here to build oxidized copper tubes. We're here to build ships. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit up an AFK session. I'm going to go ahead and lay out some more blocks. I don't know exactly how many more I'll need, but I think we'll start with 48 and I will see you guys in a couple hours. One massive AFK session later, and we have ourselves five and a quarter blocks of oxidized copper. So my question to you guys is, do you think this will be enough to finish this section here? I certainly hope so, and if not, I hope we're really, really close. So let's go into a time lapse, because we haven't done that in ages, and let's see how far we get. Alright guys, so it turns out we actually had enough oxidized copper to finish the main hull of our build. So the bulk of our ship, at least the general outline, is now done. 
And you figure this only took us right around two months. But we have, of course, a tube of oxidized copper. This is actually really cool. I mean, this is cool to fly around. Now we have like a general scale for how big our build's going to be. And this will like tell us like everything we need to know. This is how much room we have to fit all of our stuff in. Now, of course, I do have a little bit left because like I said, we do got to go back over and add the details. So I got to add, of course, the butt of the ship on. I don't know what the proper term for a ship butt is, but we got to add that on. And then we're going to put, you know, our rocket boosters on there. We got to add the wings on and the wings on the Planet Express ship are huge. So they're going to take a lot of copper. And then there's like an observatory thing up top there. So we also have to add that. Plus, as you guys know, we still have to finish this like bottom section of the ship, which we just never did because I wanted to focus on this so we could start building. And that turned out to be a pretty good payoff because let's face it, most of this copper I got just from working around the area because we were doing all this stuff that we did, you know, this episode here, getting our horses, our little chicken farm set up, our cow, which despawned already because he crossed a chunk border. And, you know, we have our lava farm and our potion brewing area. So I'd say all in all, pretty good progress this episode, guys. And like I said, we're going to keep on going. So in between episodes, guys, my plan is, of course, to work on the big hole. And what I'm going to do is actually, if I can get down there quickly, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just do this section across here so i'll square all this off and then i think we're gonna only go down to layer like probably like 20 because that'll give us 69 blocks to go ahead and like build our farms and i want each wall to be like an independent farm and then i want to have a mob farm in the middle so i mean we're gonna have plenty of space i mean there's no reason to you know like go ham <laughs> i guess is the right way to say it but yeah, I'm going to go out and dig some more of this out, and then we'll start putting in the first farm over there, which I do believe I want to be a massive sugarcane farm. So I'm going to need a lot of iron, wood, all that good stuff, and we'll see what we can do. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope I am bright enough for you to see. <laughs> and if you did, make sure you leave a comment, hit that like button, and as always, make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.